Well, hello, Libra. Thank you for being here. If you're new, my name is Amber. Hello. If you're returning, thank you for lending your energy to the channel. So this is going to be your general reading for the first half of August. Thank you so much. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. If you need a private reading, I do those as well. Links in the description box below. Or you can go to the website listed on top of the screen. That'll take you there as well. And we'll be more than happy to schedule a reading for you. So, my beautiful souls, my Libras, my strong ones. Let's see what Spirit has for you in general. For the first half of August. Your first card is Kindred Partnership. And then your higher self. I already got it. And friends and colleagues. So this is your time, Libra. To stand up for what it is you believe in. Okay? I feel like... Something is making its way back around to you. Okay? And... I feel like it was once something that was really good for you. Um, it taught you a lot as a person. I feel like it began you or started you on the journey that you're on now. Who you want to become, where you want to go. And I feel like spiritually you're just on another level and you know that it doesn't mean that you have to be with this person I just feel like it means that you can be friends with this person if you're ready but it doesn't mean that you need to be in a relationship with them I feel like you've progressed past any kind of connection in your life being considered a romantic relationship just because you're connected to someone. I also feel like it opens you up in a way to love others and care for others in a healthy fashion. It's like you're learning, Libra, how to be a team with someone or a friend with someone, not being a caretaker, okay? Expecting miracles. So I feel like you're blossoming into your life. And understanding more about love and understanding more about care and nurturing a person on a friendly level. I don't know how to explain that. I'm going to move on. So your spiritual energy is release your guilt. Release your guilt to feel the need to fix or help or resolve or make something happen. You know? I feel like you're just learning how to have partnerships and be an individual still. You know, understanding your feelings or the fire that you feel doesn't necessarily have to be intimate or sexual. Like, 
you try to relate for example you can try a relationship with this person and it didn't work but it doesn't mean that you can't be good friends but it also doesn't mean that you need to take care of a person either okay so in love you have the lady of the mirror So when you deal with love, how what is it saying about you? How does the way that you love people define you? What does it say about what kind of person you are? What does it say about what you need, what you desire? Healthy, not healthy? Your abundance energy is blossoming I feel like you're learning emotional vocabulary is what comes to mind but I feel like you're learning how to express yourself in a better way they're talking again about how okay so I feel like for a lot of you you have put on a brave face for a long time and eventually that breaks. Eventually that mask will crack and the truth will seep through. Whether that is anger or confusion or like upsetness or something like that. Um, but you have to learn how to live without that mask. People have to learn to accept who you are and be okay with that. It's not about what you can do for someone else. You know, it's about cohabitating and collaborating together. Being friends with someone in a true fashion. You know, um, that's how it's coming out to me. But let's pull your cards, Libra. First half of August. So we have the Seven of Swords. The two of wands, the five, I'm sorry, three of wands, the death, five of pentacles, justice, ten of wands, queen of swords. Queen of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Magician. I love that for you. The Magician, Libra, talks about you being in control. You having now all the tools you need to move forward, to do all the things that is, are right for you and your higher self, okay? Um, so I feel like you have found balance with your ego. Um... This could be something else that was controlling you and you find found balance within dealing with that. It had a lot to do with or it was brought to your attention because you kept going through a situation, maybe even different people, same situation, but it's like going through the, it could have been the same person, so I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say that, but um, going through the same situation and needing change needing to have that change it's important for you to have that change and important for you to end that cycle you went through a time here with this high priestess of kind of double dealing so what that means is like um knowing the truth but not accepting it going back and forth on is it true is it right should i be doing this should i not right but now realizing that all that was just created with doubt when you knew what the truth was anyway, okay? And now it's time for you to put that into action and to utilize all the knowledge that you have gained for yourself. It's time to express that outwardly now, okay? So Libra, the way I see this, starting off with the Seven of Swords, is you've done a lot of double dealing keeps coming into my mind, but a lot of, 
you've let go of a lot of biases that you've had about things, yes. But I feel like you're holding on to a sense of deception about how a new start was going to be or how things were just going to hit you and, and everything was going to be fine. But I feel like you stayed in the down period for a long time and you're just ready to come out of that. You're ready for something new or something better. And it's like you're in the early stages of, or you're thinking about your future and moving forward to your future. You don't know that you're in the early stages, but you are. So that deceptive mindset felt made you feel like you were out in the cold, like you weren't quite there. Um, like you have more to do, like you weren't ready is the energy that I'm getting, okay? But now in the early parts of August, you have an opportunity to like move forward, to step forward, to, to now use the things that you have built to build a new life for yourself, to build a new place for you to be, a different drive, a different idea, a different sense of imagination for your future because it's all based on your imagination pretty much, your future or what you think it can be. But you have to leave poverty mentality behind in order to do that. For those of you that are still hanging on to it, you have to leave it behind because you have to be willing and ready to keep up the momentum that you need to move forward. And if you're holding on to that poverty mentality, it's or the victim mentality, it's not going to help you move forward. Okay? The thing is what's interesting, they're telling me like you don't need as much help as you think you need. So, let's say you had a guru or a teacher or something that got you along this path, right? It's time for you to start making decisions for yourself. So, it's time for you to be more active in the process okay of, of pushing things forward that's that's what is coming up for you at the beginning of august you're going to have choices to make and you need to choose the choices that are going to move you forward so it's time to kind of take a step out try something new maybe apply for a job you never thought you could get as a as a really good example Stepping out on that and then waiting to see what happens. But you have to open yourself up to an opportunity in order to receive it. But I feel like you're strong enough to do it as long as you get out of that victim mentality, Libra. So you should move forward because it's the right thing to do. I feel like you need to create... rewards for yourself it's like you need to bring something into your life that you can be rewarded for but you have to step out in order to do that you have to see past past your past in order to do that you have to step into who it is that you want to be and leave that deception mentality behind you know it's it's almost like you may have gained a fear of being too impulsive and it's not about that it's about creating balance because you can't stay in one spot that's not where they want you to be okay You have definitely went through a renewal of yourself, right? The 
the candle in you that once went out is now lit okay and you can't let fear you know you can't sneak past this this is not a thing that you can kind of talk yourself into this is not a thing that you can kind of move safely into a transition um, because you're scared of that poverty mentality or being left out in the cold or failing or going through a hardship this is one of those things that is going to be heavy it's going to feel like a lot to push yourself to do but it's the best thing that you can do for yourself is to move yourself forward is to like test your resolve you know I do feel like there is an opportunity for something to to not work out for you um, it's like you do step out on something or an idea that you don't uh, it's like you step out on an idea and it doesn't work but for some reason you know you can't get a negative head about it so this could be something that's going to happen or has happened to you and you're like well that means that things don't happen for me you have to step out of that energy okay because you have to you have to step out on faith to to make things happen for yourself so you can't be scared of that Whatever whatever the results are from what it is that you try to start, whether good or bad, are for you. It's like they're supposed to happen for you. It's the right thing to do. But they're trying to loosen you up. So a really good example is um, <laughs> when I was younger, I was really scared to talk to anyone I found attractive. Okay, it's a it's a okay. So I read up on this thing. I don't know why I'm getting into it, but I had this thing where if people talk, somebody talked to me, I thought I was attractive. I couldn't hear, like my senses shut off. It's an actual thing, and I can't remember what it's called. But anyway, so I never opened myself up to date, um, and I had a friend who would do things to make me feel uncomfortable. So I got over the 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 fear of talking to people. Like, it really worked. Like, he would walk up to people and be like, my friend think you hot, blah, blah, blah. And even if I didn't say it, he, he just kept doing that. And he was like, you gotta get over it sometime, you know? And it really worked because I got desensitized to it. And that's what they're bringing back to me. I know this probably has nothing to do with it, but <laughs> you, you have to get desensitized to the comfortable spot that you're in. So it's like you need to open up to that and find oh, like open horizons like this was working for you whatever it is it could have been a relationship that you were in and um you need to change this the the way this relationship is working it could be anything but i feel like you were good by yourself um in you know like the situation you built for yourself it was fine but in order for you to rise to a higher level within you, you have to learn how to like collaborate with spirit. Um, you know, it's like uh, you need to put it into action because that's what I'm feeling here. And the more that you do it, no matter good or bad, it balances out the scale and it makes you feel more confident and it makes you feel more self-assured, okay, and moving forward. I like this for you. So you do have all this power. It's like you just need to use it. You need to utilize it. So I feel like the whole idea of this is really heavy for you. You might have a lot of responsibilities going on. Um, I do feel like something is coming back from the past. This could be like your love life. But I feel like something that you may have dealt with is coming back from the past for a rekindling, okay? Um, 
I feel like you tried to ignore this for a long time, but you're looking at it differently this time. It's like you're going to do it differently. And like I said, I feel like you're going to be friends. You're not going to carry... The key is to not carry the burdens of this person. I'm not saying that you should be with them because I don't see that. I just see that there's some sort of like... You would be a good confidant for this person. Like you're a good trigger for them to do good things. But you don't need to carry all of their burdens. That's real. Okay. Um, and yes, you have been hurt in the past. But you can't let this... You can't let this or a victim mentality hold you back from doing what it is that you need to do. You, Spirit's trying to make you a better person. You know, trying to connect you with your higher self. You've learned a lesson. You've healed... And I feel like now it's time for you to move forward. You know, you've been sitting in a spot, kind of viewing the world and viewing situations, but now it's time to take more action. And you'll you'll learn after a while through reasoning and spiritual guidance what to cut out and what not to cut out in your life. But I, I feel like it's just good for you. It's It's like building up your confidence. You know, nurturing your drive so you're able to move forward and make things happen for yourself and be more in this magician energy. Yeah, you are blossoming. Oh, beautiful. Okay, let me close this out for a second. So, you can't let deception in the past or sneaking around an issue... Um, you can't keep doing that because it's going to keep you in your victim mentality and you're never going to develop into the person that you should be, which is your higher self, okay? The key to this is moving forward. Moving forward out of this victim mentality. And like I said, it is going to be hard, but you have a new cycle coming into being and you have to be an active participant in that cycle, okay? So, clarifiers, what am I going to use? I bought a mini, um... What is it? The Witch's Tarot? The little one? Not the Witch's Tarot. What is that? I don't know. But it's too little. It's too little and I can't shuffle with it. It's so irritating. Okay. <laughs> so, I should have tried though, shouldn't I? I'll, I'll wait. Okay, so Seven of Swords. Spirit. Mmm. So, the way you've been deceiving yourself is you've kind of been watching things unfold around you. So, you've been taking more of a passive approach or a more self-conscious approach to your judgment, you know, um, because you kind of wasn't trusting it. It was like you didn't want to deceive yourself. You weren't sure if you were ready, but it's time for you to walk out of it, okay? It's time for you to go out into the vast world, my beautiful butterfly, after being in your cocoon, okay? Yeah, it's time for you to create some unrest in your life you know what i mean it's time for you to go out and actually live it and make things actually happen for yourself all right so don't have grandier ideas about what the future is going to be like try to keep it as realistic as possible you know all of your dreams are not going to come true in one go um you can't, you know, and I feel like that's from a fear of rejection or a fear of failure. And you have to get past that. You have to in order to move forward. But that's what's been holding you back. You know, feeling like things are up in the air. You're not sure. Are you able to prioritize? Are you able to multitask life and love and spirituality and all these things? But you can do it. You can do it. Because you can't let fear hold you back because you got to move forward. If you don't invest, you're not going to get anything out of it, okay? What's the point of having all of this useful information in your head, 
all of these values and morals and things that you can't put into action what's the point of that right so you have to start putting them into action you have to start utilizing them instead of holding on to them you know it's interesting because that's my catch-22 card so it's like you have all this information sorry I'm listening okay so you have all this information but what are you going to do with it? What's the point of having it if you're not going to utilize it? If you're not going to use it to make yourself better? What's the point? Right? There are going to be some situations or some circumstances where things are going to fail. And I, I told you that because I feel it. I feel like things are going to fail. But you have to learn that... Um, Nothing beats a failure but a try. Thank you. Nothing beats a failure but a try, okay? Don't think that things are just going to come in and be wonderful, you know? Um, that's an idea. Like, you're not perfect. No situation is perfect. You have to learn, okay? Um... Don't get frustrated and stop working on what it is you're doing, trying to rekindle yourself or your life or get back um, on your path. I feel like you're trying to get back more on the active path. You've done a lot of passive growing, and it's time to do a lot of active growing, okay? So you got to get out of your head that, you know, failure is bad. Failure is not bad. It's just an opportunity to learn. It's an opportunity to learn for the future, okay? So victim mentality. Yeah. Feeling scared to be left out in the cold after you've been in your head for so long. But just think, like, you've gained so much knowledge and learned so many things, you know. You've become a hero in your own life. And you need to, like, do that <laughs> in the world. You have so much potential with all the tools that you have learned, it's like you've reached the top and then now it's time to swing that sword and conquer some beasts, slay some dragons. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta believe that you can do it. It's not that you have an ego problem because I don't feel that in this reading. It's more of a... Not a self-esteem, but just wanting to be the best. And it's not about being the best. It's just about doing what you can do. It's about being true to you. Who cares what somebody else thinks? Who cares what somebody else wants from you, right? Not right now, anyway. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not the point. What this is saying to me is, you need to be able to look in the mirror, Libra. And you need to be able to be happy with what you see. Not what you think somebody else sees, not what you think somebody else wants you to be, but who you truly are and live in that truth because there's so much honesty there. There's so many things that will come out of that for you because um, I see blossoming flowers. So there's so many things that will come out of that for you that's positive and good. Yeah, everybody's not going to like it. Everybody's not going to like the new you. Everybody, I mean, you know, everybody's not going to be satisfied with it. That may make you feel awkward or weird because you like to bring happiness into people's lives. But this is about your journey. This is about your path. This is about what gets you motivated to keep going. That's what you're trying to find. This is not about a time of trying to integrate somebody else's wants and needs into your life. This is not that time. It's about you. Right? It's about you. It may be a big thing with family. Um, trying to make family happy. But I feel like you have to venture. You got to venture out for a second. Um, the thing is, you don't. I don't want to say you don't need a support system, but you don't need to rely on anyone else but you right now. It's like you need to fall down, scrape your knee, and get back up again. It's more of that energy. Ten of Wands. 
Yeah, I feel like it's going to be hard not getting attention. I know that sounds weird, but it's going to be hard not having other people like pat you on the back or say that you're doing a good job or not having anyone there. But it's like you need to learn, Libra, how to do it on your own without that. Um, it's like you need to sacrifice the need to have <clears throat> that feedback. It's like you need to sacrifice the need to do everything for everyone so they can say good job to you and feeling fulfilled that way. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave that there. But it's like you need to leave that part behind. Yeah, don't perceive cutting things off that don't serve you or separating yourself from things to bet for the betterment of yourself as something negative. This is your chance to become... <laughs> this is funny, but they're talking about Pinocchio. So this is your chance to not be a wood boy and to be a real boy. <laughs> okay? Um, and that takes work and dedication that will pay off. But you have to be productive or active in, in making that happen. And it's all about getting your confidence levels back. Not about holding on to what it is that you have had. It's time to end cycles, not begin new ones. You know what I'm saying? Um, when you're in a position that something doesn't make you happy, you know, it, it's not always about being a success in the public eye okay it's about being a success in here so you don't have to have a big house you don't have to drive a new car you don't have to be married you don't have to have kids and have a dog and a white picket fence if you feel happy living in an abandoned a, a, a redesigned abandoned warehouse with two cats and i don't know a roommate that is an artist then that's what you have to do for you right so it's basically cutting off cycles that that maybe used to work for you and starting new ones that do work for you okay bottom of the deck we have the knight of pentacles take your time libra take your time okay because you're building something that's stable and reliable so when something doesn't feel stable and reliable, keep working at it um, or, you know, change the path, but stay on course. You know what I mean? Underneath that, we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. I do feel like there are going to be some times you get frustrated because you like to be able to express yourself in a way. Um, so how they're explaining it to me is you like to be able to express yourself in a way that other people see you the way that you're trying to express yourself. I, I don't know what that means. Maybe that means something to you. But um, it's like you need to slow down that process because you're trying to build, you're trying to build something solid for yourself. You know, it's like you need to get the foundations right before you start tweaking the, 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 so it's like you need to get the volume right before you start tweaking the treble in the base you know what i'm saying okay got it <laughs> Ooh, libra i feel like i was i was in a zone for a second you know it's so funny because this reading is like 34 minutes right it feels like five minutes to me i zone out so fast but anyhow okay libra so let's get your meditation and journaling cards now remember you can choose one, two, three, all of them, however many comes out. Um, but I suggest that you do at least try them. They're really good with connecting to your intuition, your spirit guides, your inner self, your higher self. It just opens up a dialogue, okay, of, of deep thinking and inner knowing, and I fully support it, okay? So your first card is 
what makes life feel complicated and how can I simplify my life in little ways? We have, through all of life's twists and turns, who has been there for me? Have I told them how much that means to me? And they're saying, has someone done that for you? Okay. And what is the one thing I can do today to get closer to my ideal life? Beautiful. Beautiful, Libra. So thank you so much for being here. That reading was absolutely beautiful. I feel really good. Thank you. And I will see you for the mid-month. I love you. Bye-bye.